In this example of saving and importing a session, someone has sent to us a file containing the save session related to the vertical velocity of the North American lithospheric plate. So let's import that save session and see what we have. So we go to File, Session Manager, Import Save Session, and it's this one here. And GeoMapApp loads that uh, preloaded state, and we see that we have uh, different data sets appearing in the map window. In the Data Layer Manager, we see that one of the data sets, this one, is the vertical velocity grid of Eric Calais, and that is the colored grid in the background. And let's just minimize this. That grid is controlled by this window here. And we see that we have some contours. And these contours are contoured around the zero millimeters per year hinge line. So the center value, the center contour is the hinge line. That's not moving. The line to the northeast is the plus one millimeters a year vertically up. And the line contour line to the southwest is the minus one millimeters per year vertically down. So let's minimize that and look at the dots. So these colored dots, when we find our layer manager window, are the MIDAS data set from the UNR group. So let's just minimize that. And let's find the window, the color window that controls the colors of these dots. So we find our little window like this and we see that the um, dark reds and reds are around five to 10 millimeters uh, positive, so that's going up, and the dark blues are five to 10 millimeters negative, so the land is going down there. So that's an example where someone sent to us a save session file, and with just a couple of clicks, we were able to import it and see exactly what that person had been looking at. So if you're using this in a classroom, it's a very easy and quick way to get students all up to speed and starting from the same point with a preloaded data set showing the same display parameters.